Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I shall be discussing about the factors that are responsible for the network layer performance. So in one of my video lecture, we have seen that there are four factors that are responsible for the network layer performance. The first one is the delay, then throughput, packet loss and congestion control. So the fourth one, the congestion control, I shall be discussing in today's video lecture. Congestion control, as already in my previous video lectures, I have given you the concept of the congestion control. Mainly, you can remember this congestion control and flow control concept very easily with this particular network scenario. Remember that a network consists of what? The sender receiver will always be there in between. We have the intermediate routers. So, if the routers are unable to process the packet or unable to accept the packet because the rate at which the sender is sending the packets is more compared to the rate at which the router is processing the packets. So, there will be congestion in the network here. More and more number of packets are, are getting what transmitted in the network. But the router is unable to process those packets. So, this leads to more congestion in the network. Whereas in my previous video lecture, I have explained that flow control is related with respect this mechanism or this control mechanism is what is at the receiver side. The rate at which the receiver is processing the packet should match with the rate at which the sender is sending the packets. Now, this concept of congestion control, okay, actually it is a mechanism to improve the congestion. So, we have two different types open loop congestion control and closed loop congestion control. So, these two if I have to give an analogy, I can tell you in very simpler words, it is like a person getting affected with some disease. Now, a person can either take precautions so that the disease will not happen to that person or assume now the disease has already happened to that person and the person is going, trying to take the treatment to recover from the disease. Similar is like taking precautions. So, these are the different policies adopted to control congestion before the congestion has occurred in the network. So, that category is called as the open loop congestion control. Closed loop con congestion control are having those mechanisms wherein the congestion has already occurred in the network, but there are mechanisms what to overcome or to control the congestion in the network. So, for this the first type open loop congestion control, we have the different policies the retransmission policy, window policy, acknowledgement, discarding and admission policy. These are the five different policies for the open loop. Now, let us see one by one. The first one retransmission policy, what it says, see normally when a packet gets okay, dropped by the router while getting pro dropped by the router because it is not able to, because its buffer size is limited, already there are packets that are there in the queue in the buffer. Apart from that, if any other packet comes, then it gets dropped and the resender will try to retransmit the packet again because the sender will not receive an acknowledgement from the receiver side. So, the sender will assume that yes, the packet has not reached the receiver and it will try to retransmit. Actually, retransmission itself is generating more and more number of packets in the network and it is trying to give what more congestion in the network it is trying to lead more congestion so this retransmission policy or retransmission timers can it be redesigned so that we can solve this problem we can solve this problem of what not getting uh, not facing the congestion in the network so this is one of the policy fine in the window policy we have two types selective repeat and the go back in in the selective actually the selective repeat policy is more better than the go back in policy in selective repeat, the sender is trying to retransmit the packets, okay. Only the sender has actually sent more number of packets earlier. Now it is trying to resend those packets because it has not received the acknowledgement. It is trying to retransmit those packets, but only the selected packets it is retransmitting. So, which will definitely try to reduce congestion to some extent. Whereas go back here is for all the packets that has been sent, the sender is trying to retransmit again. But there is a possibility that some of the packets would have already arrived safely at the receiver side. But the sender is under the assumption that 
no packet has reached the receiver that's why it is trying to send what all the packets again that comes under the go back in policy we have the acknowledgement policy also one of the policies to control congestion see normally the sender will the receiver will send a acknowledgement after receiving a packet from the sender so every packet it receives it sends an acknowledgement more and more number of acknowledgement packets coming from the receiver side will definitely lead to congestion in the network so can there be an acknowledgement policy instead like instead of sending for every packet an acknowledgement let us make like an acknowledgement for some set of 5 packets or set of 10 packets so collectively for some packets one acknowledgement can be sent thereby we can reduce to some extent the congestion now discarding policy is quite interesting here the packet the message has started coming from the sender now when we see look at the word discarding the router is trying to discard the packets but on what basis the router will discard the packets so the router has to discard less sensitive packets without affecting what without affecting the content in the packet like for example if you take some uh, audio or video which uh, a packet has the audio message or the video message which is going from the sender to the receiver in the form of packets or that in the form of packets the the router can take an intelligent decision here by discarding those packets which are not having the what the main the main message of the audio like you can see in some of the videos and audios we see the very beginning of the mess audio will be some kind of music or in between there can be some kind of music or at the end so those type of information can be never processed can never processed by the router it will discard those packets in that way so it is not actually discarding those packets which has got sensitive information but those packets which are less sensitive can be discarded by the router in the discarding policy we have the admission policy see admission policy is basically we can avoid this congestion in the virtual circuit because in the virtual circuit approach what we have seen is a route is set up between the sender and the receiver a fixed path is established before sending the data now if the router is trying to accept the request to reserve the resources for that packet that is in the setup phase if the router predicts that there can be congestion in the network then it will not admit that request itself so instead of facing the congestion in future it is trying to stop it is trying to stop the request itself in the very beginning so this policy can also help in reducing the congestion these are the different okay mechanisms under the category open loop then we have under the closed loop some of the mechanisms one is the back pressure and the other one is what choke packet implicit signaling and the last one is the explicit signaling so let me tell you about these closed loop policies one by one the very first one is the back pressure for this let me take one uh, network scenario here is the sender here is the receiver in between we have the routers connected okay so let me take more number of routers to explain this concept so in the back pressure is a policy now in now remember that now you are learning what the closed loop congestion and under that the very first one back pressure so in the closed loop congestion control already i said congestion has occurred in the network and you are trying to find out solutions to reduce congestion or to or remove congestion in the network now these are the different routers r1 r2 r3 this is the sender and this is the receiver now assume that congestion has occurred in the network let us assume that this router r3 is facing congestion so it will send a packet okay it will send a packet to r2 it will send a packet to r2 requesting r2 to slow down what the sending of packets because it is unable to process the packets here there are many packets to get processed and hence the r3 is sending what a packet or sending a message to r2 to slow down the sending of packets then r2 will send r2 is also facing congestion 
because definitely if the packets have reached R3, it has come from R2 only and R2 is also facing the congestion problem. So, R2 will send the same information to R1 to slow down the sending of packets. R1 will send the information to the sender to slow down the sending of packets. You can see that this information is going in the what? In the backward direction moving towards the source. This is the one actually this has to slow down what? The sending of the packets to stop the congestion in the net to control the congestion in the network. So, hence the name is given as back pressure. Then we have the second type of closed loop congestion control mechanism. In this what happens is see now ok let me take the same network scenario. Whichever router is experiencing the congestion it will send directly the information to the sender to slow down the sending of the packets. But in the but it is using one special packet called as the choke packet and it conveys in the choke packet what that it is facing congestion and the sender has to what, slow down the sending of the packets. This is the difference between the back pressure and the choke packet. In back pressure the root the router is always sending to the upstream node that is why I said it is more. Uh, like it is applicable to, to the in the virtual circuit approach because each router knows the upstream node. So, this way it happens whereas in the choke packet mechanism it directly sends that information to the sender. It is not sending that information to the upstream nodes. So, this way this is one mechanism to control the closed loop. We have the implicit signaling and explicit signaling also. These two implicit signaling the action is taken by the source here. The source assumes that there can be a congestion in the network. The rate at which it is sending the packets, so it can definitely assume yes, definitely it is going to result in the congestion in the network. So, keeping that particular assumption, the source starts slowing down the sending of the packets. So, that mechanism is called as implicit signaling. Whereas, explicit signaling is any of the routers which are experiencing congestion is sending the information to the sender. Then you may say that yes choke packet is also sending the information to the sender to slow down the packets whereas explicit signaling is also but look at the difference here there is a special packet used called as choke packet to convey the information whereas in this particular explicit signaling it will try to send this information in data packets only ok. It is not going to use a separate packet whichever are the data packets in the same packet this particular information will be appended and it will reach to the sender. So, this is the last type of mechanism to control congestion under the closed loop. So, hope you people have followed. So, this particular topic that is is uh, that the topic which I have explained is for the network layer. Remember this is one of the factors that is affecting the performance of the network layer. Actually, congestion control is implemented fully in the transport layer. There you will be learning the different algorithms to control congestion. But here in the network layer, to some extent whatever is implemented is this part, closed loop and open loop congestion control. Hope you people have followed, understood this topic. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.